Cooper Mercury here. You guys like cute stories, so here's one. Affectionate otters swim through their enclosure every day to meet an orangutan family. <laughs> Many animals are way better than humans at loving and caring for each other. We have certainly observed that. It's no secret that critters belonging to different species can get along well and create incredible strong friendships and this lovely story right here is an outstanding example. It's proof that love knows absolutely no size and shape at all. Everything started in 2017 when the staff at a privately owned zoo and botanical garden located in Belgium ran the Otters River through the enclosure of an orangutan family who had just moved from Germany to their zoo. And to the zookeeper's surprise, their beautiful bond quickly blossomed. According to the zoo's spokesman, the otters often swam through their enclosure to visit their huge buddies. And even though they love to hang out with the dad, who's 24 years old, and the mom, Sarah, who's 15, their son, Barani, four, is still their favorite playmate. The otters hide under large tree trunks, or wooden construction. Then Barani, the baby orangutan, comes to look for them. Once in a while, they pop out to tease him. It's really amazing to see. <laughs> the spokesman also shared that they always wanted to enrich the quality of every single creature at the zoo's life and let them interact with other animals is one of the top priorities. Our gorillas live together with monkeys. Our penguins live with the seals. Our kangaroos share an enclosure with pelicans. We have squirrels living with bats, pygmy hippos with pelicans, giraffes with ostriches, Asian elephants with Asian gazelles, zebras with buffaloes, and so on, he said. In another interview for Cater's News, he stressed that the zookeepers had always tried their best to make sure their furry friends received the best care possible. In fact, the zoo has already raised funds to plant 11,000 trees in Borneo to help give the orangutans there a better environment to live in. Two factors are very important for the well-being of an animal in captivity, the size of the enclosure and also the quality of his enclosure, he said. This means that an animal, and this is even more the case with orangutans, with whom humans share 97% of their DNA, must be entertained, occupied, challenged, and kept busy mentally, emotionally, and physically at all times. I love this story. I just don't understand why different humans can't get along like this. <laughs> Cooper Munchie here. Ciao.